is when you look outside the United States, you really have to look to China because um, I would say the acceleration and velocity of AI in China is off the charts. Um, you know, we t we've talked a lot over the last few weeks about deep sea clearly coming out of left left field, um, very efficiently building a frontier quality open source model. But most people have kind of quietly ignored probably the, the company that's the leader in AI in China, and that's ByteDance. Their AI, you know, their chat GPT equivalent is number one in China, right? And they've been using AI to drive TikTok globally um, for a very long period of time. So I, I know you have strong opinions on this. It seems to me the US has underestimated China at AI. And now we're at this inflection point yeah. where I think there are a lot of people who say, well, they must be smuggling GPUs into China or this or that. But the reality is China is going to have frontier AI and almost all the things we do to try to slow them down and stop them are backfiring on the United States. I couldn't agree more. I, 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 I witnessed almost daily um, people that are either in government or even friends of ours who, uh, who say we have to win the AI war with China. Right. And I don't know what that means. Yeah. I, 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 like, I can't imagine an end state where we control all the AI and they don't have any. Right. Like, it's already too late. It's too late. And they're smart right. as possibly can be. Yeah. Um, and they're innovating. And, and you look at all the other products that they're crushing right. it in. Um, yeah, I just don't understand. Like, I think- And the reality is that we just need to focus on running our fastest race. We need the Teslas. We need the open AIs. We need rockets that land themselves. We need all of this. But to think that they're not going to have BYD building great cars or they're not going to have, you know, DeepSeek building great models or they're not going to have rocket companies that copy us and can land themselves like that, that would be naive. It's remarkably naive. Yeah. And, and, and like it, it's going to lead to people making decisions, like you said, that either slow us down ourselves. A lot of the AI regulation would definitely do that. Um, or, or just provoke them in ways that, that isn't helpful, you right. know, and it's not going to slow them down. Well, let me get, let me give you one example of this. And then I want to move on talking about the, the arms race, if you will. But, you know, during the Biden administration, they passed something called a diffusion rule out of the Commerce Department, which we've mentioned on this pod before, which created this convoluted set of rules by which U.S. semiconductor company, con companies could export outside the United States. Now, this wasn't exporting to China. We already have uh, export restrictions with respect to China, but it basically made all these tiers and classifications on how much you could distribute. Did you have to distribute it through a hyperscaler or not? And the whole idea was to somehow cre prevent these chips from getting to China. But what it really does is it causes us to have to compete globally with Huawei with one hand tied behind our back. And it almost guarantees a Huawei level belt and road initiative around the world. And the world's gonna run on Huawei AI chips, which, have, which gives them then the demand that they need to build a frontier AI chip. And so again, well-intentioned perhaps um, by the Biden administration, but totally backfires. And hopefully Howard Lutnick and, and this administration will yeah, I don't know. Uh, we'll, we'll I, throw I, that out and start I think there, I think there are a remarkable amount of people in Washington on both sides of the aisle yeah. that have a perspective about China that they use words, enemy, threat, have to win the AI war. Yeah. And I just, those terms are so loaded. And the, but, but I think they think they can achieve something. Yeah. And if I owned NVIDIA, yeah. my number one concern yeah. would be excessive regulation coming out of Washington. Yeah, yeah. My number one concern. Yeah. 